I usually tell people to, uh, when you wear the shoe, it has to have at least a thumb width from the longest toe. The longest toe is the second toe. So you have a thumb width like this, and that's where the shoe should end. From the tip of the shoe to the, the longest toe, you should have a thumb width this way. Okay, we got Justin here today. Hi, Justin. How you doing? Good, good. So, I know Justin just told me that you've been watching my YouTube channel, and now he he's the YouTube now, right? <laughs> so we're gonna film him today. He's got a pretty unique situation. He had some kind of a trauma, where the uh, this was obviously the traumatized nail, and then the new one is pushing the old one out, but it's kind of getting stuck at the tip. So what I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna clean out all of this make it look really good and especially this one is um, looks like it has some fungus underneath this area so I'm gonna carefully uh, clean out all this nail make it look great and then send this uh, maybe to a sample to see if it's fungus right yeah okay you ready okay so I promised Justin that if I hurt him that I'm gonna have to numb it so we're gonna go slow steady and try to make sure that uh, he's not gonna have pain but if he does he's gonna let me know right Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So I know you've been telling me that uh, you play some basketball and you were playing, uh, you're running and things like that, right? Yes, sir. You think it, that's when it happened? Quite possibly. But this, the way the amount of nail that grew out, you've had this problem for at least a year, maybe even longer. When was the last time you played some basketball? Long time. Oh, more, than a, more than a year. More than a year? Oh, okay. Maybe the shoes, huh? Right? Maybe the shoes? The shoes, uh, the wider Maybe too shoes, tight? Wider shoes help considerably. Uh huh. So, you may have shoes that may be too small for you, too. Not only the width, but the length, you mm -hmm. know? Because I usually tell people to, uh, when you wear the shoe, it has to have at least a thumb width. From the longest toe the longest toe is the second toe so you have a thumb width like this and that's where the shoe should end from the tip of the shoe to the, the longest toe you should have a thumb width this way that way you're not traumatizing your nail because every step you take you're you're traumatizing your nail you know because you keep hitting it so far so good yes sir nothing okay so i'm going back and forth very carefully without Hurting Justin. So what what kind of what kind of work do you do? Are you on your feet a lot, working? Right? Uh, occasionally, uh, I'm in uh, e-commerce. Oh really? Yeah. Are you sitting down most of the time? Uh, s sitting down, uh, both actually. Oh, you do both. Okay. Are you are you required to wear a certain type of shoes at work or? Uh no. You recommend loose. Uh, are you allowed to wear like a, a athletic shoes? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should wear something comfortable, obviously. Athletic shoes has to be big enough. Uh, you always um, buy your shoes standing up. Mm -hmm. Don't sit down and get it because that, that's not going to lengthen your foot when you're uh, you know, sitting down. So you want to you wanna be standing when, when, they, when, they, when they measure your feet, right? Got it. Yeah. And then as we get older, you're, you're a young guy, you're a young, good-looking guy, but as we get older, our feet get uh, flatter and, and, and it elongates. Mm -hmm. It gets flatter and wider and longer. Mm -hmm. People tell me all the time, you know, my foot grew. <laughs> well, actually, your foot got longer mm -hmm. from getting flatter, right? So I got, I got quite a bit of this stuff up, right? So far, nothing? Okay. You're fine? Okay, good. Thank you. I'm going really slow. It's pretty hard. Now it's really hard. You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're saying that this was uh, pretty painful uh, in the shoes, right? When you're in the shoes, like certain shoes? In the beginning, and mm -hmm. then... Um but uh, once I've switched shoes, it, it helped a lot. Uh, uh -huh. I, I increased the size by half size. Half size, uh huh. And then you, you got the wide ones. Uh, yeah, just like what you mentioned. Uh, 
having a bigger shoe help. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. If I can just grind it all down, I think it's gonna be fine. I don't wanna keep you paying in this corner right here. It's yeah. a little bit digging in there a little bit. That's amazing. Yeah, thank so you. Let's get to this side a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna save some of these nails. You feel that? Uh, not slightly, bad. Not too no, bad. Not too bad. Okay. So you saw other nails on the YouTube, right? It's got yes. multiple layers, right? You yes, see that? Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, when you saw that, I was like that. That's my nail right there. Yeah. <coughs> Actually, your yours is a lot easier than the other ones because mm -hmm. they they had multiple layers like all throughout the whole nail, right? You You're, can have more than two layers. You can have multiple layers. Oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> Yeah, but your layer is just on the tip area, so a lot easier than the other ones. Mm -hmm. I remember those multiple layered ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Your nail's hard though. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. <clears throat> you okay there? Mm -hmm. There. Sorry, it's okay. a little tender. It's good. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So we got most of it out now. Oh, I just great, need to. Great. Yeah. I don't think I need to numb you. That part was a little. That last part. Yeah. yeah see yeah. how deep this area is right here? You see how deep it is? So yeah. That, so that will relieve a lot of. Uh, uh, pressure. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see how these look like. <clears throat> So this is a, a quite common case where there's some kind of a trauma mm -hmm. uh, to the nail. Mm -hmm. And then usually nail grows underneath the current nail because they usually have a blood or other things like that that lifts up the, uh, the traumatized nail. Mm -hmm. And then the new nail grows underneath and you won't see the na new nail until they grow quite a bit underneath it. Right. And then it separates out from the, uh, the old nail, the new nail comes and then it pushes it out. Usually, the new, when the new one comes and the old one gets pushed out all the way, but yours kind of wasn't doing it all the way. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of getting stuck in the, at the tip of it, so. Which is why it took so long, right? Like yeah. It took like two years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And it was hanging with their dear life. Yeah. I don't want to go away, you see? So. I feel like I should have seen you earlier. Yeah, <laughs> it would have saved you some uh, agony. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, it looks pretty good now. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, some... I think this one may have some fungus here too. You see the little mm -hmm. white part here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like a potential fungus. Mm -hmm. So, if I see fungus on one nail, you're going you're gonna to use the medication on the other one too. Okay. But that looks Better. Yeah, so let's see how this one looks. Yeah, this one definitely has still has more uh, damage to the nail, you know? Mm -hmm. It's got uh, the color and the... And the it's the, not dead right? No, no, okay. nail's still there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but we're concerned about the base right here when I'm grinding. If that base is good, then you have a good chance of a uh, good nail growing back. Yeah. Okay, okay. The tip doesn't matter as much, obviously, mm -hmm. because we want we always growing growing from the root mm -hmm. all the way up to the nail. But obviously, this one is definitely affected more. You got a lot thicker nail here. Is that a little tender? I'm okay. Yeah, okay, okay. But this part seems a little bit ingrown on this side. Oh, okay. It's a little bit deep, so okay. we're gonna have to work on that a little bit more. So that will take time for it to grow back. Yeah, way. you're gonna have to watch my ingrown nail YouTube. Okay. Shows you how to prevent ingrown nail. Okay. By using dental floss or cotton okay. underneath the nail to nail, make the nail grow over the skin instead of digging into the skin. Oh, so okay. watch that video. Okay. There's a whole series of those videos, and then that may help you to 
prevent, uh, you know, uh, ingrown nail in this corner. I'll write that down in my notes. Yes, yes, uh huh. Very good. What do you think, huh? It's better. Oh my goodness, so much better. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very good. I think the rest of it uh, is uh, from soaking, you know, you need to soak it. Okay. Um, with Epsom salt. Okay. And some tea tree oil, that's going to change the color. Okay. And then uh, by the time I see you next time, we're going to have a result of the, the biopsy, so we can put you in a proper medication. Great, great. Yeah. So soak Epsom salt Epsom and, salt, and, uh -huh. and uh, tea tree oil. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can, you can do some apple cider vinegar in there at the same time. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll give you the instructions. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to numb you because yeah. that, that could be a little painful process. Uh, yeah. yeah, numbing is always a little. I feel like my big toes are screaming, Thank you for the release. Really? <laughs> they've, been, they've been choked. Yeah. For, well, uh, I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to take it out without numbing, because numbing is sometimes quite painful. Mm -hmm. So I was glad I was able to do it. And cheaper, because I don't have to mm -hmm. charge you for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's less painful for your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the part I'm concerned about, uh, potential ingrown, ingrown right mm -hmm. there, yeah. It's kind of deep in there. So we'll, we'll work on it. We'll continue working on it. I'll refer back to your uh, prevention of the ingrown yes, video. Yes, yes, video, yeah. <clears throat> no, I think it looks great. I think we've done what we could do today, and yeah. then we'll do some more, but we'll send the uh, sample out to uh, get the testing done, and then... We'll see you in a few weeks and see how you're doing, okay? So amazing. All right. So amazing. Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you for allowing us to tell you today.